as in the previous class we have discussed about the political science that means we have discussed about the meaning of political science what is a political science means the political science is nothing but a science which deals with the politics why we need a political science as a study as the political science is nothing but it is a social science why we are saying it as a social science as the human being started living a life into the society where the needs of the people and the survival competition everything activities have been started they needs the political study has to come into the existence for that purpose only the political science has came into the existence and the political science is nothing but it is a study of state and government that means we are studying about how the evolution of the state has came into the existence and how the the state has been governing themselves what is a government means as in the previous class i have explained for you about the government what is a government means is nothing but government is nothing but it is an agency through which the will of a nation can be expressed today in, in this class we are going to discuss about the nature and the meaning of political science along with the definitions and the scope of political science in the detail coming to the nature and the meaning of political science as we have discussed that the political science is nothing but it is a social science why we are saying that it is a social science because it is dealing with the citizens citizens uh, state and government how the the citizens in relation with the, the state how they are citizens they are participating into the state and the government and apart from that it has this political science has originated in the uh, in the 4th bc century where the aristotle he is a great great greek philosopher who has been known as a father of political science that means uh, the father of political science is he uh, was the aristotle that means aristotle is considered as the father of political science and the word politics is derived from the greek word polis which means the city state that means what is a uh, city states that means the how the people has that means the citizens how they are participating into the state activities how they are forming into the society as in the previous class we have discussed about the sociology and how the societies has came into the existence and the polity is nothing but it is a politia which means the government or the constitution that means the political science if the word it is derived from the greek word polis which means the city states that means the politics the word has been derived from the political science it is derived from the greek word the greek word from the polis and the the politia which means the polis is nothing but it is a city state whereas the polity is nothing but it is a government or the constitution that means the nature and the meaning of political science it describes that the political science is nothing but it is a social science that means it describes about the citizens participation into the state and the government for that purpose it is known as a social science political science is also known as social science and the word politics it has came into the exist and the political science got the uh, got the prominent academic subject in the 19th from the 19th century that means this uh, word got the originating from the 4th century bc but no it was not popularized but later on the aristotle who was a great greek philosopher he was known as the father of political science he had described he has described the political science as a, a uh, as a importance which deals with the participation of the citizens and the the state and the government and as a student that means it is a meaning of political science the political science the word has been derived from the greek word from the two greek word that is the polis which means the city state and the polity which means uh, the politia which means uh, the government or the constitution what is a government government is nothing but it is an agency through which the will of a nation can be expressed but whereas what is a constitution is nothing but it is a set of rules and regulation why we are saying uh, it is a set of rules and regulation it is needed for the society because in order to overcome with uh, any issue arises any crisis arises into the society in order to solve the problems of uh, the citizens we need the government for that purpose we are saying that the government is nothing but it is a agent agency and uh, the studies where where they these studies has came into the existence where the philosophies has been oriented and the plato he has wrote the republican and the aristotle he has wrote in the politics that means what is the republic a republic is nothing but freedom where where as the aristotle he has described the republic 
republic as a politics why because as uh, aristotle is known as a father of political science he was a famous uh, statesman and he has uh, determined that the man is a political animal that means not only the man is a political animal he is a social animal also that means a man without uh, the participating into the society without forming into the society he cannot live isolated for that purpose he has said that aristotle has said that that the man is a social and political animal and he also described that the word the politics has been derived from the greek word polis which means the city state and he has described its authority in order to have the to show the relationship between the state and the government that means how the people the citizens are participating into the government if the people participate into the government then student what will happen that it becomes a popular if the popular government comes into the existence it is a welfare for us that means it comes into the developmental aspects next knowing about the political theories when we are knowing about the political theories which is nothing but it is a study why we are saying it as a study because it is concerned with the values and the concept of state power individual and the group of relationship that means how the states has came into existence and how the state has got the power and how the individuals are participating into the government what is the relationship between them that means what is the relationship between state and government what political theories had to be concerned and how the relationship it works it all it should be shown into the political science it can be known into the two ways the first it is a empirical political science theory and normative uh, that is a normative approach in the political science when we are talking about the empirical uh, political theories it focus on the explaining that means what, what they will be explaining about what is uh um that means what it has been coming to the conclusion after the observation that means what uh, it shows about the behavioral that means what type of uh, aspects has been utilized into the one state to the another state it will be observed and it will be explained on the basis of observation that type of uh, thought uh, that type of theory is, is nothing but it is known as empirical political theory coming to the normative it uh, explains about the rules of understanding about the political theories how they have been approached and what is the framework and what uh, the ought to be that means what we want to become that means what we have to be adopted in the future how it should be that means what type of concepts have to be done? Allah for example defining like a justice liberty equality rights are there democracy is there peace it is there for us uh, equality liberty should be there liberty means nothing but it is a freedom equality means all are equal before the law what type of rights should be there and democracy has to be asserted what is democracy means democracy is nothing but for the people of the people by the people and what type of limitation also has to be imposed and how they have to be approached by the various society this all the basic concept it will be deal as it will be known as the normative approach in the political science that means empirical is nothing but it explain the theory on the focusing on explaining about the observation that means it observe about the behavioral aspects of the state on that basis only it gives the uh if it gives the base or basis on this explanation only on this thought only it gives the explanation that type of theory is nothing but it is known as empirical political theory normative means what now normative is nothing but it is explaining it is approaching to the political science to understand what type of understanding what type of understanding here political theories what type how they have to be framed what ought to be that means what they want to be adopted what type of that means what type of values should be asserted into the state this all studies comes under the normative approach that means this theory political theory which we are studying about the ideas and the values which is concerned with the state power and individual also this comes under the two authorities that is empirical political theory it can be explained in the normative approach also empirical it is explains about the behavioral but whereas a normative it explains about what ought to be that means what we want to adopt into the into the present and how it should be this planning can be done into the normative approach that means we are understanding about the political science in the detail about how 
it was how it is how it should be that means how we are adapt, how we are analyzing itself by studying about the past that means how what the uh, explaining about the past by the observation and how it should be in the present and how it should be in the future also for example like our indian constitution it was framed in the 1950 and it has came into existence in 1950 and 26th january on 26th january as we know but where as the values whatever it is asserted by the freedom fighters in during during the period of that time it has the value till now that means whatever the values we will adopt adopted it should be contained it should be for the forever and this forever it will have the everlasting value should be there and these everlasting values it will provide us only by the study of political science it comes under the normative approach and it may comes under the empirical uh, approach also theory next coming to the definition definition of political science it is divided into two that is uh, traditional definition and it uh, uh, and uh, the second it is a modern definition the definition uh, which is uh, defined by the traditional definition like uh, j w garner and uh, r j jetel they comes under the traditional definition where as a modern definition the laswell and the kaplan and the hillman these are the two political writers who comes under the modern definition traditional definition means the definitions which has been given by the the by the political scientists during the period of second world war that comes under the traditional definition whereas a modern definition which has been explained after the second world war all the political writers these definitions comes under the modern definition that means the definition of political science is divided into two types that is the traditional definition and modern definition modern definition it is explained by the modern political writers whereas as a traditional definition it is explained by the uh, by the political writers who were inspired during the period of second world war coming to the first j w garner he has explained that the political science begins and end with the state that means political science it starts from the state only without the state without the citizens mm -hmm. thus it gets a meaning to the formation of the state no for that purpose here jeb w garner he has said that the political science it begins and ends with the state and and without the state the political science cannot be explained and the politics is nothing but it is a study of state and government this definition was given by the j w garner different definitions are there by the which has been reviewed by the different political writer like r g jatel he has said that the political science is nothing but historical investigation that means what we are investigating in the history what the state has been that means how we are investigating about what what was the history of the state for example when we are learning about the history of our country india we are describing our history on the basis of british rule that means how the britishers they have exploited our natural resources how we were and drained all the economy of our country was drained by the britishers this come that means what we are doing here we are investigating on the state in the history what it was and the how the state is what is the state is then how the political this discuss that what the state ought to be for example india is a developing nation then how it want to be it want to be become a developed country this definition was given by the r j jetel that means r j jetel he has said that the political science is a historical investigation of what the state has been that means what the state was an analytical study of what the state is that in the present past present and in the future that means what the state ought to be this definition was explained by the r j jetel leacock he was also a political writer he said that the political science it deals with the government only that means he is saying that the political science is nothing but it deals with the government that means sir, without the government the state cannot come into the existence that means the will of a nation cannot be expressed this has been explained this definition was given by the stephen lecoq paul janet he is saying that the political science is that part of social science that means sir, it is uh, treating Uh, it is showing about about how the people form themselves into the society. That means it is known as the social science, which trace the foundation of the state. That means it is showing about the foundation of the state, how the state has came into the existence. When we are talking about the history of our country, India, our 
country was exploited by the Britishers by dividing our country on the basis of colonies. That means how, how we are making that when the colonies, colonization was there, unity was there in our country? No. For that purpose, it should be united. It should come under the one roof. That we, now we are saying that all the states belongs to the our country India like this. What type of principles of the government it has been formulated into the state? This definition was given by the Paul Jennett. He is saying that the political science is that part of social science which trace the foundation of the state. What type of foundation of the state has to, has been treated and what are the principles of the government is there? That means what type of principles were adopted by the government when we are talking about the government in our country india that means not only in our country india the government it, it is having the two types of government what type of two types that means it may be a federal or it may be a unitary when we are talking about the federal if we are learning about the two levels of government but whereas in the unitary it describes the government at the central government like this what type of principles are they what organs are they as i have explained to you in the previous class about the government where it is having consists of three organs what are the three organs legislature executive and the judiciary that means legislature it makes the laws judiciary and legislature it makes the laws uh, executive it implements the laws whereas the judiciary it interprets the laws it gives a judgment and so this definitions comes under the traditional definitions of political science the next coming from the, the beginning of 20th century the political science has been developed in a new way and it was known as a behavioral ex ex approach why it is known as a behavioral approach because the new approach has came into the existence and the political science it tries uh, to analyze itself what type of analyzation was done that on the basis of uh, uh, on the basis of uh, uh, observation on the basis of the observation of for the state only they will describe their power into the state this new approach is nothing but it is known as behavioral approach and they have been this uh, in this context also new definitions were given the Harold Laswell, Laswell he is saying that the politics is a study of influence and the influential or the study of shaping and sharing of power that means the, the political science is nothing but it is a study of influence what type of influence that means how much what the power it is uh, for the citizens into the into the society how we are exercising itself how we are shaping itself that means what we are getting and what we want it how much we got it everything it comes under the political sign this definition was given by the Harold Laswell whereas David Easton he is saying that the politics is the authority allocation of values that means what type of authority allocation of values should be there as our country India we are saying where the many of the civilizations has came to the existence and this civilization where the multi-religious society we are exercising our authority in one roof that is our country India and we are determining ourselves as an equally why we are saying as an equally because uh, equality it has been given uh, it has been given by our country by the constitution we are determining ourselves that all are equal before the law that means we are allocating these values into the into the government and this type of allocations can be done only by the political science whereas a Catherine he is saying that the political science is the study of acts of women and the social control that means how we are acting into the society whether we are participating into the government what type of control should be there into the government by the government into the society this all activities it comes under the political study of political science these are the few definitions girls where where the political writers they have been given the different views about the political science but the meaning of the political science will remain the same what is the political science means is nothing but it is a study of state and government that means we are learning that about how the citizens are participating into the political activities of uh, political activities and how they are participating into the political activities into the state this comes under the uh, study of political science these are the few definitions note down students as uh, it is shown on the screen for you simultaneously you can note down the points also next coming to the political science meaning scope and nature 
that means this uh, concept it covers for the 10 mark it is a compulsory question right uh, the meaning scope and the nature of political science when we are learning about the meaning we know that the political science is a, a social science where we are dealing with the citizens state and government as aristotle you can see on the screen uh, aristotle who, who was a great greek philosopher who was known as a father of political science he has defined that the political science is nothing but it is a study of politics it studies about the state and government this uh, definition was given by the aristotle coming to the uh, scope of political science the first is about the study of man in relation to the society Ma when we are talking about the study of man in the relation to the society uh, as Aristotle he has said that man is a social animal and he also described that man is a political animal also that means uh, the man isolated he cannot survive without uh, forming into the society that means man cannot live outside without forming the society uh, this political science enables us to study about how the man it is forming the society and how it is forming into the society and how it has been obligating its responsibility into the study that comes under the study of man in relation to the society that means what it is saying that the state and society that means how the societies has come into the existence and the societies how it is giving the benefit for us that means what type of benefits it is forming into the state that means we are participating into the society and towards the state also it comes under the study of man in relation to the society the first scope of political science is nothing but the political science studies about the man in relation to the society state and society that means how the states has came into the existence before the forming of the state the societies has came into the evolution that means aristotle he said that the man is a social and political animal why he is saying that man is a social and political animal because with us uh, as a human being cannot live outside without forming a society if the society is coming to the uh, existence the state will come into the existence if the state comes into the existence the political science it shows the behavior of the man in relation that means what type of uh, 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 advantages or uh, apart from that what type of needs it is required for the uh, for the citizens into the society how they are participating into the state all it comes under the study of political science that is the first scope of political science what is the first scope of political science the political science studies about uh, of about the man in relation to the state and society the second it is the state and government coming to the second one political science it is concerned with the uh, concerned with the evolution of the government that means how uh, how the state has uh, uh, government has came into the existence what uh, is uh, the relationship between the government how uh, the government it is providing its authority all it comes under the study of uh, state and government that means what it is showing to us the political science studies about the government as an agency of uh, the state where the central the political science is concerned with the perennial and the central issues where among the society and the government where we are participating into the society and how we are participating into the society and how what type of rules and regulation has been imposed by the government it all comes under the study of uh, government that means we are learning that the political science it enables us to know about the study of government the next it is the study of state what is the study of state is it is the next scope of political science study of state means the political science it enables us to know about how the origin of the state has came into existence that means how uh, the evolution of the state what is the purpose of the state first what is the purpose of the state in order to satisfy the needs of the people apart from the as a modern uh, society has came into existence apart from the rights we are having the obligation also that is the duties where we are exercising our uh, and exercising our rights and obligating our duties towards our nation that comes under the study of state that means it explains to us what uh, in the history what the state was in the present what it what it is and what it wants to be 
this comes under the study of state that means political science in uh, it enables us to study about the evolution origin and the purpose of the state how the citizen what that means it shows the relationship between the state and citizens how they are exercising its authorities what are the theories are there and uh, how it differs from the one state to the another state Understood? Like this, it comes under when we are studying about our country, India. That means we are studying about analyzing ourselves. Yeah, and the in our country, India means what we are discussing. We are discussing about uh, the history. In the history, if we are discussing it means what we are learning. We are learning about uh, the the colonial colonization. When we are learning about the present, we are learning about how to increase our economy. That means we are saying that how our country. India got independence. After getting independence, what were the new uh, strategies has to be adopted? How the development uh, should be coming to the process? Everything in the future, what we want to be. In this way, we are explaining. That means the political science it enables us to explain about how the evolution of the state has came to the existence and what is the purpose of the state. This comes under the study of state. It is another scope of political science. What is another scope of political science? Study of state. That means what it is studying political science. It is studying about the state. How the origin of the state has came into existence, uh, evolution, and what is the purpose of the state. And and apart from that, it also shows the relationship between the state and and the citizen. That means how the citizens are participating into the state. This comes under the study of state. The next, it is the study of a study of association and institution. What is associations? There are several associations and institutions are there. When we are talking about the institution, different types of institutions and associations has come to the existence. The political science it enables us, helps us to know about the moral, religious, cultural, scientific, and technological, uh, technological progress which has come into the existence. What is the nature of that? It comes under the study of. Uh, of association and institution that means political science it enables us to explain about the structure nature and the functions of various associations how it has came to the evolution and what is the purpose of these associations and institutions it comes under the study of association and institution that means the political science it enables us to study about the evolution of the associations and the institution if this was another next another scope of political science the next it is the study of rights and duty political science it enables it also enables us to study about the rights and duties what is the rights the rights are nothing but the uh, the which is required for the welfare of uh, the citizens where are the duties what are the duties uh, duties are nothing but it is an obligation which has to be paid by the citizens that means rights uh, and the duties plays an important role for the development of the citizens into the society and whereas some issues has been coming from the recent time related to the civil rights like we are having the human rights civil societies has got a significance in the study of political science it enables us to participate into different types of rights when we are talking about the rights in our country india it has been incorporated in our constitution in the form of fundamental rights how many fund fundamental rights are there there are six fundamental rights first right to equality right to freedom right to education right to freedom of religious culture and educational rights is there right to constitutional remedies this comes under the fundamental right that means what we are doing here the political science it is enabling us that means it is making us to know about analyzing us to know about the what type of rights what type of and apart from the rights duties also has been incorporated level duties are there obligations which has to be paid by the indian citizens this comes under the study of political science that means the political science it enables us to study about the rights and duties which is well, which is needed for the welfare of the citizens into the society that means if we are exercising our rights it is a it is the duty of the citizens to obligate the duties which has been incorporated in our constitution this type of and uh, this type of analyzing can be given only by the political science that means by studying of the political science only we can analyze ourselves what type of rights are there what type of duties we have to be obligated by the uh, by the citizens this all comes under the study of political science the next it is the study of uh, in uh, national and international issues that means national means internally 
when international issues miss which is about one nation to the another nation that means the scope of political science it analyzes us to know to com comprise the study of nation and international affairs that means what type of this that means what type of issues it arises between the national level it will be solved by the nation itself if the international issues are there as we know sir international recognition also plays an important role for us if the international recognition comes into the existence that means we should become the part of united nation organization that is i do you know if we'll become the member of uno then we are getting the international recognition if we are getting the international recognition if any issues arises between one country one nation to the another nation these issues can be solved only at the international level for example like armaments are there disarmaments are there balance of power world defense and security whatever this all concepts is covers under the international law and it can be solved only by the international organization that comes under the study of national and international issues why we are saying it as a national and international issues because if any issue arises at the national level it can be solved only by the nation itself if any issue arises between the one nation to the another nation it should get that means the nation has to get the recognition into the international organization that comes under the international issue the political science it enables us to study about the nation and international issues also how we are analyzing this how we are analyzing this by studying about the political science if you are not studying about the political science then how we can know about what issues are going into the nation and what issues are going into the international level this can be explained only by the political science this was one of the scope one of the scope of political science the next it is the study of comparative government and the politics that means we are compare political science it enables us to compare to that comparison between the one government to the another government into the world government for example like we have adopted the parliamentary system of government but where as in the america it is a presidential that means what we are doing here we are comparing understood us that means we are comparing from the one country's government to the another country's government in order to analyze uh, in order to adopt uh, the the best form of government which is needed for the development of the country this comparison can be done only by the study of political science that means uh, the study of political science uh, is studies about the various government that is the various world governments and how the structures are there what is the functions when we are talking about our country the parliament where we are exercising what is the structure here the parliament consists of both the houses lok sabha and the rajya sabha understood guys like this uh, in the president of form of government the president will be the he, he will be the whole and soul of uh, of the government that means all the legislature and executive uh, powers will be vested in the hands of the president but whereas in our country india the prime minister plays an important role that means what we are doing here we are differentiating the political system from one country to the another country this comparison can be done only by the study of political science that means the political science it enables us to compare the government and the politics from one country to the another country not only that at the central level how it is exercised uh, and in our country india in the state level also how it is exercising this authority this can be known only by the study of political science that is political science the another scope of political science is nothing is is uh, the study of comparative government and the politics that means we are comparing the government and the politics from one country to the another country and we are analyzing ourselves what will be the best form of government how it should be adopted what type of structure should be there what functions should be adopted everything it comes under the study of political science that means we are comparing from one country to the another country this comes under the scope of political science the next is the study of modern political analysis that means the political science it uh, studies about the modern concepts that means what type of modern concepts has came into the existence uh, that what uh, how they are having the power into the society how it should be developed uh, how the socialization that is a political socialization has came into existence and how the citizens are participating in the in the political science it enables that the citizens participation is compulsory without the citizens participation does the government get the popularization no it cannot get that means for this what we need sir the central point is that the opinion has to be formed well, how we got the opinion the opinion from the family that is from the society 
Uh, interest group should be there for us. Social characteristics has to come. Governor and leaders has to be formed. Mass media should be there for us. The religious group should be there for us. Whereas, uh, if any club or any French groups are there, then from the school, like this, the public opinion comes into the existence. If the public opinions form, that is, the opinion formation comes into the existence, then the political development will be come into the existence. That means we are studying about the modern political analysis. That means modern political concepts which has came into the existence by the modern, uh, 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 it has been come in the modern society. This enables us to know about uh, the political science. Uh, this enables us to know about the political socialization, political funds, that is the participation, development, and what is the political culture it is there, how it should be communicated, it comes under the study of political science. That means it shows uh, about the um, relationship among the different systems into the one, uh, one country to the another country. This comes under the scope of political science. The next uh, is the importance of uh, public policy. That means the political science studies about uh, the public policies also. What is the public policies? Public policies are nothing but it is for the welfare of the nation. That means uh, these public policies will be formulated by the government from the particular sector as in the previous class I have explained to you about the public policies. And this uh, study can be done only by the political science. Through the political science we can learn about the public policies, what are the measures and how it will be achievement can be made by the government. As we know the government will have the three organs legislature, executive and the judiciary. Legislature, it makes the laws. That means all the public policies, measures, important, it can be made only by the legislature. Implementation can be done by the executive organ. That means what type of measures and how the achievement can be done. It can be implemented only by the executive organ. Political science, it helps us to respond to the needs of the society. If we, if we want to solve the problems of the needs of the society, how it should be response? It can be response only by the public policy and the scientific understanding also will be there in from the curse uh, from the, and the effect of a relation from how the globalization, what type of, how, that means what the problems are coming from the globalization, what the measures has to be taken, decision has to be taken, uh, how what how the policy makers they have to take into the consideration for the formation for the formulating and implementing of a public policy this can be analyzed only by the study of political science that means political science is studies about the public policy this is one of the scope of political science why we are saying it as a modern uh, public policies it is determined as a, the study of policy which is considered for the for the study of formulation exercising an evolution of public policy how the public policies has been evaluated this comes under the political science that means these are the important scope of political science the the scope of political science this answer will come for the 10 marks girls that means how many scopes are there there are nine scopes of political science the first is the study of man in relation to the society state and government and the next second one is the study of state study of government study of association and institutions study of rights and duties study of nation and international issues study of comparative government and politics study of modern political analysis study of public policies that means these are the scope of important scope of political science this answer will come compulsory for the 10 marks that means in the 10 marks answer first you have to write about introduction about uh, about the political science and next you have to write the two definitions of the political science given by the different political writers whichever it will be flexible for you you can write it two definitions of political science then explanation of the explanation of scope of political science then last at the last you have to write about the conclusion of uh, the scope of political science how we can conclude that the, the government what as the activities of the government are increasing with this increasing concept the welfare state has came to the existence and this welfare states only it has given to study about the scope of political science and it will be expanding it also will expand and the political science has become a dynamic subject why we are saying it as a dynamic subject because it will be changeable government 
will be changing but authority will be changing not the the system the system will be the same for us but uh, depending on the situation of the society the policies may be changing like this it comes into the study of political science in the next class we are going to discuss about the significance of a political science this answer is very important from the examination point of view a compulsory question it is uh, it comes for the 10 marks you whatever we have discussed in the class now you can note down simultaneously you can note down in your class works also muggles how i have explained to you to write the class work first for the 10 marks answers you have to write compulsory introduction then the then you have to write it the two definition of that concept then next third you have to write about the explanation of that concept then at the last you have to write the conclusion but now for the five marks later on i'll say how you the what will be the procedure for writing of the answer this answer it is for the 10 marks in the for the 10 marks we are writing the meaning of political science definition of political science that is the two definitions of political science not all the definition girls you can write it too enough along with the political writers then the scope of political sign you are explaining uh, according to the side headings then next the last you have to write about the conclusion of the of that answer thank you girl in the next class we are going to discuss about the significance of political science thank you